What's going on everyone, this is Kyle and this is the first video of a series about Omniverse Isaacson. I will bring you a lot of content about the main features of Omniverse Isaacson that are valuable for robotics with real implementations and concepts that are easy to follow and reproduce on your own PC. Or if you don't have a desktop with RTX GPUs, you can use Omniverse in the cloud you choose. In this first video, I'm going to be going through the main features of Omniverse and believe me, it has a lot of tools, extensions, whatever you call it, it's huge. I'll leave the link for each tool in the description below and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Let's do it. If you need a tool to build a virtual robotics world and perform some experiment, you've got the right tool for it. It's called NVIDIA Omniverse Isaac Sim. NVIDIA Omniverse Isaac Sim is a robotics simulation toolkit for the NVIDIA Omniverse platform. By using these two, you would be able to create physically accurate simulations for mobile and manipulator robots with support for ROS1 and ROS2. It simulates sensor data from sensors such as RGBD, LiDAR, IMU for various computer vision techniques such as domain randomization, ground truth labeling, segmentation, and bounding boxes. Isaac Singh has a lot of features, believe me. NVIDIA is always releasing new tools or extensions that helps you do your projects better and faster. Stay tuned for this video series since we're going to demonstrate a lot of these tools. There are many ways to develop in Isaac Scene using the UI, VS Code, ROS, or even Jupyter Notebook. I prefer developing using VS Code in standalone mode, but we have developed a project for Universal Robots that we needed to create some extensions that included the UI development and some robot control in the backend. We've developed a prototype for Universal Robots with some simple UI in Isaac Scene. In this prototype, the user would be able to spawn some industrial equipment and robots and interact with it. At the end, we just easily integrated all the extensions the team have developed. It helped a lot accelerating the project development. Just choose the best for you and you're good to go. Now I'm going to talk about the main features and tools in Omniverse. And the first one I'd like to talk is Omniverse Kit. Omniverse Kit is the SDK for developing Omniverse applications like Create and View or create your own Omniverse application. It has many components like USD, Carbonite, RTX renderer, scripting, and NUI toolkit. You can combine all these tools to create your own impressive Omniverse application. Through Omniverse Kit, you have access to a set of lightweight plugins that are authored with C interfaces. You can easily create new customized extensions using Python, and the Python API can be used to write new extensions to Omniverse Kit or new experiences for Omniverse. You have access to several interesting tools for developing, such as Hydra, that allows USC to stream its content to any renderer, uh, which has a Hydra scene delegate, including Pixar's HD Storm, as well as Omniverse RTX renderer, as well as Omni.usd that provides access to USD audio subsystem, asset and layer handling, event and listeners, etc. You also have Carbonite to manage plugins, access files, rendering inputs, loading images, and so on, and many other interesting tools that you can check in the link description below. Omniverse Isaac Scene uses NVIDIA Omniverse Nucleus to access content such as USD files for environment and robots, and it works like that. You make a change to the scene, publish modifications to the digital assets and virtual worlds to Nucleus database, and subscribe to their chains. It's ideal for collaborative work and teams can have multiple users connected together live with multiple applications all at once. You can even use connectors to share and modify representations of virtual worlds. The most common data formats used across Omniverse, as I said, is uh, USDs, also MDLs, images, and similar. However, any kind of file can be shared within Nucleus. You have virtual control, asset tagging, and many other features that help in the development. Nucleus can be installed on a workstation, on-premises, or in a private cloud. By using USDs, you can easily create and model your robot 
in your scenario with visual and physics properties and share between applications such as Maya, Unity, Unreal. Uh, and as I seen, you've got the Omni.USD module that serves to load and initialize Pixar's USD library. You have interfaces in C++ and Python to attach, open, close, and save stage and do state carry. We'll be digging into that in the next few videos. If you have already tried to generate a dataset for training AIs, you have experienced how difficult and time-consuming it is to get it done. Other than that, there are challenges that cannot be modeled from real datasets such as speed, direction, and occlusions for, uh, of real objects. And this amazing tool called Replicator can automatically generate synthetic data for you, including all the data you would not be possible to acquire in real datasets. It's also possible to leverage domain randomization to damage the gap between real and simulated environments using this tool. Onverse connectors can be used to access a large pool of assets in appearance and it can be defined using MDL, for example. It would increase the robustness of the AI algorithm against uh, industrial layouts chains, for instance, like color, position of objects, orientation, and etc. Isaac Sync is also easily integrated with ROS1 and ROS2. You have access to a lot of sensors like camera, lidars, RTX lidar to support solid state and rotating lidars, and all the ROS functionalities like transform trees, teleport, navigation for mobile robots, joint control for manipulators. Uh, it supports uh, move it, and you can even create your own custom messages. Uh, in ROS2, you, you can uh, simulate your robot in, uh, in Isaac Scene, in Gazebo, in parallel, and compare performances, for example. And you have also access to the ROS visual, it's named uh, Gem, that you can uh, debug your navigation algorithm using RVs, for example. It helps a lot. OmniGrad have uh, been released recently by NVIDIA and it facilitates a lot uh, to configure the simulation environment. You can use configure your input devices. You can script it using Python. Uh, you can configure a lot of sensors really, really easily. You can also uh, implement some controllers for your manipulator robots or mobile robots. Um, and believe me, it uh, accelerates a lot the development. As I said, uh, we don't want to waste too much time configuring the environment uh, by using code and OmniGraph just speed it a lot. I also like this one, it's called Lula Algorithm. Uh, if you want just a kinematic solver without considering obstacle avoidance, you can use Lula Kinematic Solver. It's pure kinematics. And if you want to avoid obstacles in the scene, you can implement RMP flow. In this case, you just position some spheres around the manipulator using some configuration files. And in each physics step, the robot would avoid all the obstacles in the environment. It, it's really interesting. This one is also really cool. It's called NVIDIA Deep Map. It's still in closed beta version. AMR deployments can access the NVIDIA DeepMed platform cloud-based SDK to accelerate robot mapping of large installations from week to days with, uh, with high level accuracy. The DeepMed update client also allows robot maps to be updated as needed in real time. DeepMed created high definition map softwares for autonomous vehicles and NVIDIA is using that some software to map indoors and outdoors facilities for AMRs. But NVIDIA Deep Map is only for selected customers at this moment, unfortunately. In order to increase operational effectiveness and security across a variety of industries, NVIDIA has proposed Metropolis. Metropolis is an application framework, developer toolkit, and partner ecosystem. It helps make sense of a massive flow of data created by trillions of sensors for frictionless retailing, streamlined inventory management, traffic engineering in smart cities, optical inspections in factories, patient care in healthcare facilities, and much more. 
leverage this cutting-edge technology in Metropolis Broad Developer X system enterprises can now build, deploy, and scale AI in IoT applications from the edge to the cloud. Imagine you are looking for an optimal path between 10 destinations. There can be more than 3 million round trips, permutations, and combinations. With 15 destinations, the number of routes could exceed a trillion. It's really time consuming and you will not want to use slow tools to do that. NVIDIA QOPT uses GPU accelerated logistics solvers relied on heuristics and optimization to calculate complex vehicle routing problems variants with a wide range of constraints quickly enough. This tool is a game changer when it comes to automation in digital technologies. Complex tasks such as the one mentioned can be solved much faster with NVIDIA QOPT. Besides that, you have a Python interface that relies on NVIDIA CUDA libraries and wraps primitives. With the help of QOPT, you can now use real-time solutions for the planning and implementations of robots. If you are interested, there are also other similar tools like NVIDIA Reopt for continuous reoptimization of AMRs. Isaac Team is a physics simulation environment for reinforcement learning research. You are capable of simulating thousands of environments in parallel with an impressive reduction in time consumption if compared with some other physics simulators. If you have ever experienced training a robot using reinforcement learning, you know how painful it is to wait hours until the algorithm converges. With Isaac Gene, you notice an unbelievable performance gain. Isaac Gene features include support for importing URDF in Mujoku files with uh, automatic convex decomposition of imported 3D meshes for physical simulation, GPU accelerated tensor API for evaluating environment state and applying actions, support for a variety of environment sensors like position, velocity, force, and torque, runtime domain randomization of physics parameters, and Jacobian inverse kinematics support. Isaac Orbit is a unified and modular framework for robotics and robot learning powered by NVIDIA Isaacson. It offers a modular design to easily and efficiently create robotic environments with photorealistic scenes in fast and accurate rigid and soft body simulation. Orbit provides a set of benchmark tests of varying difficulty from single stage cabinet opening and cloth folding to multi stage tests such as room reorganization. You'll be able to implement some robotic workflows such as reinforcement learning. It provides wrappers for RL frameworks such as RSL, RL, and RL games and Stable Baselines 3. It's important to notice that Stable Baseline 3 is not GPU optimized, so you may notice some performance drop if you use it. You can also implement imitation learning because you'll be able to connect devices such as keyboard and 3D space mouse to send position and orientation commands for motion generation on robot. Demonstrations can be stored and collected from devices and they can be used to train a wide range of policies. Motion plane and control can also be implemented because Orbit supports the paradigm of traditional sense model plane and active methodologies that decomposes the complex problem into a set of small sub-problems. You can also deploy your algorithm in real robots using two different communication protocols such as Zero, MQ, and ROS. In these videos, you can see how accurate the deployment from simulation to reality it is. A series of tasks can be accomplished by using Isaac Orbit, including tasks with rigid objects, tasks with deformable objects, in-hand manipulation, mobile manipulation, and many others. You may not have access to an NVIDIA RTX GPU from your academic lab or work, but it's not a problem at all. You can deploy Isaac Sync through a container that runs locally or on a NVIDIA RTX equipped AWS or GCP with the ability to stream the application directly to the user's desktop.
you won't need any NVIDIA RTX GPUs since the cloud-based delivery provides the latest RTX graphics and performance to any desktop system. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. And in the next videos, we're going to talk about each NVIDIA application in some more details. And we will be coding together and we will have a lot of fun. See you soon.